Hello friends, Chris Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today I want to continue my series on hydration. Now it might seem silly to have a whole series on hydration, but it's really important. And that's that's why I keep coming back to it because uh, you know a lot of problems internally with our own, own body can be mitigated or resolved with proper hydration. And it's important to find a way that you enjoy staying hydrated so that you'll do it. And that's what we're all about. You know, we wanna find ways to help you help yourself uh, to enjoy life better here at Coasty Outdoors. So one of the ways that I found is the self-filtering uh, water bottle from Brita. Now I've used Brita filters, you know, from my fridge and like the big, you know, gallon, two gallon, three gallon Brita filters. Um, but those are, you know, stationary and you can't really take them with you. What I love about this is the mobility uh, and the freedom that gives me to take this on the road, um, even to, you know, make sure that I don't have to go <laughs> To my fridge it, as my only source of water i can go to a closer source of water like my sink from the bathroom and you know the water would be fine from a lot of sinks or taps or other sources but this just gives you an extra peace of mind knowing that it's filtered again uh and the mobility is fantastic now there's two types of uh brita self filtering water bottles uh, there's the clear kind and then there's you know a uh, a coated colored bottle. I like the clear bottle because then I can see how much I have left. Uh, the the other bottles, the, the ones that are colored, solid colors, you know, they have a lot of really cool colors and stuff like that, but I, I don't find them as practical because you can't see how much water you have left. Um, another thing, they don't come with filters necessarily. So uh, the bottles themselves are between 20 and $30. Uh, and then you get a pack of four of these uh these filters for about twelve dollars so that's that's what you're looking at uh you can buy them individually if if they're at the store if it's online uh you generally buy them in packs of four and they come in these you know a box with four in them so uh let's go over the mechanics real quick uh a couple considerations so when you take the straw out there's probably going to be water in there so just take that into consideration Another thing, the max fill line that you see right here, you may not be able to see it, but there's a max fill line here at the top. That's a, a hard max fill line because you're gonna have to put the straw in that adds volume. Oh, see there, some water dripped on me. And your water is gonna go everywhere at the, up the top of your bottle. That max fill line, definitely the max fill line. Uh, so here you have your straw and the cap. You take the cap off, you twist to the right, and then here's your filter. So here's the sort of the chamber that your filter goes in. And this is also how you change your filter. Uh, and here's your filter right here. So it just slides on in like so. And now all the water is gonna run through that. Uh, and you know, it's the first time you do it, like any filter, you might have that sort of activated charcoal kind of taste. Um, so I would just, you know, take a couple sits, spit it out if you don't like that, you know, charcoaly kind of taste, and then you're good to good to go. So you put it back on, twist it in, and then another consideration when you put this back on, uh, anytime you know you press this water button to a spring-loaded cap comes off. Uh, a consideration is to keep your little nozzle here, your, your mouthpiece on your straw clean. I didn't do that and then it got a little stained um, before I, I got filters. I was just, you know, testing them out and drinking it regularly. Uh, so make sure to keep that clean or else it can stain. And another thing, don't, don't worry. It's gonna be a little more difficult uh, to get water through the filter than you may realize at first. You'll get used to it, I'm used to it now, uh, but it is, it's it's kind of a challenge at first. I'm like, this is a little, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. That's okay. That means it's working and the water does have to get through that filter and you're gonna have to, you know, get a little bit more pressure going. So, 
there you go. Um, yeah, I just noticed because I, I put the straw back in the first full, like it'll take your full, like, first full, um, you know, sort of suck on the straw. It'll be empty. You won't get anything because the straw has to fill with water. And then once you do that, you're, you're good to go. Um, so yeah, I hope you found that interesting. Um, highly recommend it. It gives you more flexibility, more peace of mind. Um, and any way that you can, you know, optimize your hydration and hydrate more, it's going to be worth it. So I know it's 20 to $30 for the bottle, you know, $12 for a pack of four filters. The filters last about three months. Uh, they say, I think on the box, they say maybe like 300 fills or something. Uh, definitely worth it. So I encourage you to find ways, creative ways to, to keep yourself hydrated, whether you're at the office or out in the woods, uh, hydration's key. So hope you found that interesting. I uh, enjoy, you know, interacting with all of you. Please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'd love to have you join the community. So please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you and I hope you stay safe out there and stay hydrated. Coast to Chris out.